Hey, hi, hello. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you this website that I made. It's called weshopchannel.net. Uh, I talked about it a little bit in my update video, but I wanted to make it its own dedicated video. And I, I put this, I put off doing this for a while because I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to make it like edited and stuff, but I didn't really know how to like format this correctly. So instead, I'm just going to do a quick and dirty video like this. Um, so here's the website. It says click the ring to continue. I'll also be showing all the little fun facts and like little Easter eggs that I have. So like, for instance, the first Easter egg, uh, if you actually click the text, then it says connecting you, please wait. This is the text that it, um, originally showed up in the Wii Shop channel, but uh, that's all it changes. Uh, the whole idea is this is a fake loading screen. You just click here to continue. And so here it is, um, another fun anecdote is that the reason that loading screen exists is because um, in order for the website to play audio you have to interact with the website uh, in some way so like notice how the loading sound is not playing until I click the website I just click the website and now the loading screens playing um, that's because you need to click on the website in order for our audio to play and I figured a way to get people to 100% do that is just to have people click a button to enter the site so it works out um so this is the website uh i have this is where i post updates about the website here's the main uh thing oh i should remove that um so that just shows info about things i noticed that the website has been getting pretty popular lately so i made a little thing about that and um Yes, if you would like to make a video about this website, I fully welcome it. Just please put at Nathan Bames somewhere in the description because then it notifies me and I can look at it and I can be proud of it and comment. Um, so, oh yes, uh, Nintendo, if Nintendo sees this, they will definitely shut this down. So I will not hesitate to do so. Uh, just so you know. So don't be telling Nintendo about this, because uh, I'm using their code. Anyway, so when you first reach the Wii Shop channel, I recommend the first thing you do is to go to the settings, because this has some cool features, like a custom pointer, like what you're looking at right now. By default, it'll just be your regular mouse pointer. This is for accessibility reasons, because um, what, what it does is it actually hides your mouse cursor and replaces it with an image so I don't know how that'll work on like other browsers and stuff so just to be safe I have it off by default but I recommend having it on you can also turn off the animation so it's just this but yeah I, I've made that physics code myself uh, you can switch regions but this all this does is changes what games are on the screen uh, so I have it on the United States uh, show games without links this is a very important feature for those who want to submit games to be added uh, because by default it just shows games that have links and then one-to-one -one mode um, it's not done yet but I have it on so I can show you what it does so let's add some Wii points why not or actually let's 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 go look at some games why don't we so here are the games uh, we have quite a few uh, let's get Too Fast for Gnomes. It was a great WiiWare game. I had the demo for it back in the day. It actually wasn't that great. It was actually pretty bad. Uh, oh, I can't download it because I don't have enough Wii points. So let's add some Wii points. There. Now we have some Wii points. And so now I can download Too Fast for Gnomes. And so it does this little download thing. Pretty cool. I still need to add the controller information. Um... So now when I click this yes button, here's what's going to happen. I'm actually going to control click it so that it opens. It's going to open something in a new tab. And so I'm going to control click it just so it stays on the Wii Shop channel website. I recommend you do this too uh, if you do this. So here's what's going to do. This is a fake downloading screen, but you can see this new tab that it opened. Uh, look at that. It's actually downloading the WAD. So I can put this on my Wii and do all that. I can install it with a homebrew manager, a WAD manager, and I can play it. 
that's the whole point of this website. This is why I made the website. Was so that it could be a fun way to browse the Wii Shop channel. Or, okay. This whole thing uses... Oh, let me move up. Mario Jump here. I bet it's probably pretty loud, actually. Okay, there we go. Uh, that whole downloading, downloading screen was completely just for show. Um, it shows me that. Okay, so I want to show you this website called MarioCube.com. This is a massive repository of uh, WiiWare games and all the virtual console games and everything, uh, specifically in this folder. This has all the WiiWare games. So, I discovered this a while ago, and then I figured out, you know, this is, it's cool to get any game that I wanted, but it's not very fun, just uh, browsing folders and stuff. So, I made this website. It's basically just a fun way to browse Mario Cube. Um, and I actually talked to the creator of that repository. Turns out he also made the archive of the WeShop channel source code that I'm using. His name is Larson V. Um, a lot of, he's well known in the uh, homebrew community of, Wii, of the Wii. So this whole thing does work. Uh, and I think I did a pretty good job. Oh, wait a second. Did it not subtract my Wii points? Or maybe it did. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, anyway, I'll have to check the footage on that later, but anyway, oh, that's, by the way, that fake downloading screen is a feature of one-to-one -one mode. If I turn that off, then, like, you can still add Wii points, and downloading a game, I'll download a different game, like, like, how about just gnomes? Uh, it just takes you straight to the download. So that's, that's good if you just want to get the game. Um... So yeah, and it does subtract your weak point count. Uh, we also got virtual console games. Also check this out, an on-screen keyboard. I made this myself. I programmed it in JavaScript and everything. Uh, fully works. Oh, um, I have a Chrome extension that <laughs> turns on animalese typing. I'll just turn that off. So there we go. Um, I can search by category. I got genre. Uh, these are just automatically added by the games that are added to it. Oh. The Wii menu button just does that. <laughs> uh, this doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. We got Wii channels. Uh, that's pretty cool. I do plan to add features for this eventually. Um... So, that's pretty much the Wii Shop channel. Uh, we got sound settings. The music is really loud by default. I gotta turn that down. Um, I guess a volume warning. I'm gonna turn this all the way up. Yeah, it's pretty loud. So, <laughs> I'm gonna turn that down eventually. So, yes. Also... I found a way to add the custom games to this, so I can add whatever games I want to this whole thing. Uh, so yeah, I think some of these games... I recently made a big update that automatically adds all of the games to the Wii Shop channel. These are all of them. Um, every single game. But the only thing that's missing is the download links. Because, as you can imagine, uh, I don't think the games would include a Mario Cube download link as their um, metadata in the official Wii Shop channel. So, I have to add those manually. And I can do that with the help of you. Um, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure some of these games aren't added, like this one? Oh, no, this one's added. Some of these games can't be added, right? Like, it's Pokemon Snap, I don't think. Oh, no. Alright, well, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, I will enable this. So now it shows every single game. Um, but a lot of these don't have download links. Oh. 
should probably fix that. Not sure how that happened. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to get this game. Uh-oh. It doesn't have a download link. So, what I'm going to do is follow the steps shown here. Uh, I'm just going to... No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> because I don't care about this game. Uh, Vampire Crystals. I'm sorry if you did as a kid, but uh, whatever. So, the idea is that you'd paste that text just so I know the region and the ID of the game. And then you'll go on Mario Cube and you'll find the game and then you'll copy the link to there. And I also want you to do it from this link, um, which is the exact same repository, just on the website itself. Uh, just so I can have a mirror of it in case one of the two websites ever shuts down. And then your thoughts and comments. Uh, and then I look at it manually and I upload it myself. So, there you go. I really gotta fix that. I don't know why that is happening. Anyway, uh, that's the Wii Shop channel. If you have any questions or concerns, please join my Discord server. It's been getting a lot of members recently, uh, but I have been keeping up with all the messages. And, uh, yeah. Please send me your bug reports and suggestions and pretty much everything. Oh! I am going to leave you with one more Easter egg. This, I'm, I'm proud of this. I'm proud of it. Uh, check this out. <laughs> I made this recently. If you click this exact dot, and it only works on this page, on this main menu page, if you click this dot right here, let's make some Wii points. It's an idle game. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, I gotten, a lot of people have showed me their high scores of like tens of billions of Wii points. Uh, the game officially like ends. It's sort of like when you 100% the game, your, your progress is basically just the text that appears here. It ends when you reach a million dollars worth of Wii points and become a millionaire. So I challenge you to, uh, beat the game, I guess, in that sense. Uh, I'll leave you with that and enjoy the link is in the description and I'll leave you there see ya